TV. I'm with you. I'll be watching our channel. Blah. Eh, Mo, you haven't invited me. Okay. You too. If you wanted to come, why did you ever send me? I'm just putting patience. You see, I'm one more in you. You see? Mama Lola. Like, I've got a character for Mama Lola. Yeah, we know. Part. We yeah, know. Yeah. That's the, the everyone's favorite character. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. My Nigerian mom. So, you know, I think when you have your own platform, you kind of know the audience that you have. And I fell on a heater. Metal, obviously. It's mm. very hot. And because I was kind of trapped in my baby walker, it left the lines on yeah. my cheek. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. my hands, as I tried to break my foot. You are valid. Right. From, from your background, who you are, your upbringing is valid, you know. Yeah. There's space for you. Hi guys, welcome to the Mo Chunk Show and welcome to another installment of Chit Chat with Mo, where we have controversial debates, honest conversation and so much more. And today we have the amazing, gorgeous comedian, filmmaker, actor, actress, <laughs> amazing, creative, all-round creative on the show today, Lola J. Good. Hi guys, oh, you're so kind, <laughs> darling. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks for having me. Finally. I know, right? I'm with you. I'll be watching our channel. I'm like, eh, hey, Mo, you haven't invited me. Okay. You too, if you wanted to come, why didn't you message me? I'm just watching patience. You see, I'm one more in you. You see? Why not? You have a lease. Stop oh, stop done. Me. Honestly, no. But literally, one morning, I was like, wait. Lola J. Good, let me get her on the show. Because I did 21 days prayer and fasting. See, the spirits. I <laughs> am done. It's working. Yes. How are you? I am, you know, I, I'm happy to say I'm good. Okay. By his grace first. Amen. Um, but, you know, this year, I think for everyone, has been a big higgy haga year. Ah, oh, God. <sighs> I shouldn't say God's name, but sorry, Jesus. Sorry. Yeah. Um, But I am... I am seeing the light at the end of the tunnel mm. and I'm excited forecasting for a new year, a new yeah. fresh start. So yeah, but, but I think we all need that. 2021, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were talking off camera about, you know, some of the struggles that we've both faced as, mm. as creatives. So I guess let's start there. Yeah. What would you say, do you want to start with this year or just generally? Because being a creative anyway is a whirlwind. So I feel like it's it's been a weird year for creators, but I feel like somehow we've been surviving because we're used to hardship. Right. <laughs> the struggle. Well, you, know, you know we have attachment issues with struggle. Yeah. It kind of feels like home. <laughs> no, the struggle feels like home. So when things are going right, you wait, wait, this is strange. Yeah. What's going on? Mm. But yeah, um, I mean, I personally... Prior to antivirus COVID, we call her anti. Anti COVID. Let's call her anti. Yeah, anti. Yeah. Um, prior to her, um, I kind of started slowing down a little bit anyway mm. because I needed to, you know, I was creating all this content and stuff like that. But I just needed a minute to really forecast. Okay, Lola, you're kind of building a brand here. What do you want to do? Like, where you, where do you want to go with this? Mm -hmm. So within that time, I was able to kind of like start working and forecasting my career as actually an actress and a filmmaker and a writer. Mm -hmm. um, all titles I didn't really know I was until people like you described me. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's been an interesting journey, taking a step back, but then being in industry type okay. projects mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. connecting with producers yeah. and people on TV and stuff like that and Listen, everything that we watch on TV, don't think that they made it in one week or... Right. Like, development takes a long time. And that's something that um, I've understood and learned. So, I am on a patient journey. Right, okay. Um, offline. Mm. Um, but online, you know... Online is great, mm. but... I try not to get lost in the source. Oh, if I need yeah. a break, I need a, I'll take a break. Right, you know? yeah. Um... So, yeah. I mean, we've spoken about this several times on this channel about how sometimes as creatives, we feel like we always have to be on. Right. And we always have to be, like, creating content. And right. it's like there's this on-demand 
I think that's like the world of a, of, of a creative is on, on demand, demand and like yeah. I need you now and I need yeah. you to make me laugh I need you to inspire me I need you to talk like just whatever the, your niche is we need you to do it now yeah. and do it always right um, but I think as a creative, never feel like you can't take a break Absolutely. because I think that's when your best work manifests. Um, I think when you go away and you spend time, you know, like what next before you come back and just, what industry, how did that come about? Oh, um, okay. So ironically, by not taking a break, um, and you post a lot, you yeah. kind of get attention. Mm-hmm. That's, that, is, that is kind of what we want to do as creatives. We want to create and inspire and get move further in our creative journey. So, 100%. Um, I started, I kind of was, I got booked on a gig for a BBC project. Okay. Um, as a, just an extra, okay. actually. And um, I was just sitting, I think they had a shoot in the pub and I was just in, I was just an extra, just chilling, you know, pretending <laughs> to drink, but it's not really be old. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think after the shoot wrapped, I just kind of took an opportunity just to speak to the producer and the camera guy. I was actually more speaking to the camera guy about the camera because obviously I do yeah, you, stuff. you do everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, that was kind of like a nice conversation to have. And then, Spoke to the producer. I was like, oh, you know, I do kind of comedy sketches as well. He's like, nice. oh, really? And I was like, oh, yeah. really? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my God, would, you, would, you, would you like to do something? I said, of course, let's do it. <laughs> so then. I love it. Yeah, I said, yeah, why not? You know what I mean? <laughs> Didn't really put nothing of it, you know. I'm not going to lie. Then I got, got the email and was like, yeah, you know, we've got we've got a bit of budget from um, the network. Um, they want to produce some short sketches for their platform. So this was BBC Three online, so like their Facebook page and stuff. I was like, yeah, cool. And then I was like, at that stage, you know, I'm very used to Mama Lola. I've got a character called Mama Lola. Yeah, we know. We know. That's the the, everyone's favourite character. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. my Nigerian mum. So, (laughs) you know, I think when you have your own platform, you kind of know the audience that you have. Right. To understand. So this was the first time I've got, you know, Scott saying, yeah, do you want to do some videos? And I'm thinking, okay, what I'm thinking, are you going to understand? Because one thing I'm not going to do is make my mom start speaking like Peggy Mitchell because she's not going to do that. So, you know, I just was, when we had the meeting, I just was very clear that, look, I play these characters, they're very authentic to, you know, my, my, roots. Edu- my roots, who I who I am, what I identify as. And Those conversations, boy. It's, I was scared, but I found my voice. I said, that's totally fine. Everything, do it exactly like you do it, love. Do it exactly like we love it. And that was my first time I knew that they understand. Right. If they, they, you can just choose not to understand. You are valid. Right. From, from your background, who you are, your upbringing is valid, you know. Yeah. There's space for you. Yeah. You don't have to turn, you don't have to change. It's if they want to understand. Right. Funny is funny. Mm. And that's why I hear. Funny is funny. Mm. If your content is good, some you're gonna find some relation in in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, obviously we've been laughing at like Little Britain. Exactly. That's not necessarily our culture, exactly. but yeah, so yeah. Just as the vice versa, just yeah. like Mo said, like, yeah. We laugh at Little Britain or stuff like that. So why can't they laugh at stuff that? Hundred percent. Yeah, world, yeah, know? yeah. Because my mom has an accent. Yeah, it's, you don't understand. Come on, she's speaking English. She's speaking English. <laughs> Even if she's making your mouth, put subtitles in it. Oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, yeah, like I had, I had, um, we had the shoot and it did well. We got yeah. like five million views. Wow! Yeah, so that's what. I, oh, what's this? This is exciting! Wow! Anyway, so I did a few more for them and stuff like that. Wow. And then, um, on the back of that, you know, in industry, producers talk, people talk, like who you've worked with, who was a who was, um, were you a pleasure on set, right? And then just the human, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Then you just kind of get called for, oh, we're doing something else. Do you mind coming down? And then it kind of worked like that. Um, so that's how I was. Be- I've been kind of gigging offline, right? And that was a kind of a new kind of space, which yeah. I really enjoyed. Yeah, I'm not a camera guy. I'm not doing sound. Listen, get- having a set. Listen, I don't have to edit, but- the talent. <sighs> Just yeah, I think that's every every creator's dream, isn't it? Like, yeah. if you can just one day just come and sit and, like, everything is done for yeah. you and all you need to do is just be yourself. Yeah. You know, you can kind of not relax because you still have to do the work, but you can calm down a bit, yeah. you know? Obviously, the callback as well. Like, what is that like for you? I know you spoke about, you know, culture differences and having to be like, okay, like, this is me, da 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 Do you feel like that you've had to assimilate in any way? Um... 
for those of you that might not know, assimilation is like, um, you know, as a, as a person, a black person, because some people don't like the term person of color. Um, as a black person, you go into, you know, white spaces. We're in a Western country. So you sometimes try to act a bit more like their culture. That's yeah. what assimilation is. So do you feel yeah. like... Um, you know what? I can happily say I haven't. That's good. Um, and I think because I've got the confidence from having my own platform. If you don't like me, I've got, I've got, I've got friends. I've got followers. We're watching. We'll laugh together. It's like there's nothing. It's not. It's it's a win win for me. Do you understand? Mm. Okay. What? Cause you. Cause your camera is ten thousand pounds. Me too. My. I've got expensive camera. I'm done. Me that I'm using the same lens that they're using on set. Bam. So when I'm seeing their setup, I think okay, my mic is obviously on a smaller smaller scale, scale. Yeah. But I'm still producing results. So if you don't like me, it's okay. Yeah. I've got my page. We can still laugh because for me, it's just creating content and having a good vibe and just and just just bring joy. That's my passion for that's me. That's awesome. Do you understand? You do definitely have an energy about you. Like do that's I? very yeah yeah. <laughs> Like it's very like bright and very like upbeat. But you know what? Like I am naturally like this. Yeah. So um, yeah. It was. It's always in my head. It's always been a win-win. Okay. If they, if they say no, Lola, it's okay. You be like. Pick your camera. Yeah. Video, video. Yeah. You know. It, and yeah, yeah, that obviously comes from a place of security as well. Absolutely. I think definitely as creatives, black creatives, we do need to be secure in our talent. Yeah. Um, creatives generally, because I think as time goes on, you might get hit with deals. Right. And, you know, some of these deals are not as amazing as they seem. Um, that you're literally like selling your soul and yeah. your talent and yeah. they'll almost restrict you so much that you can't do what originally like attracted attracted them to you so exactly. uh, have you ever had any like clauses and contracts because funny enough ivd um today yeah. was kind of talking about a contract that she yeah. it took her name or something like that right? uh, so, some so crazy sad. like that and like she's obviously signed right. um but she didn't realize but she's she knows she's worth something right. but it's kind of like when do you walk away or when do you take the opportunity you look cold by the way do I? yeah <laughs> I'm not cold. I'm cold. I'm good, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Do I look cold? You do look cold. Look just trying to rock out. It's okay, just like okay. I'm not. <laughs> okay, let me chew. Okay. I will have it. Uh. I did it. Sorry, I don't you know. give us tropical plants. No eat. Ah. Let me do. Let me do. Man, you're not even talking about it. We'll get there. Don't worry. Okay, no, no, no. No budget. <laughs> I used to be the same. I was it's a. <laughs> Sorry, go on, go on, go on. Okay, so as I said, like I think at this moment in time in my career, mm. I haven't had any bendy contracts. I'm not gonna That's lie. That's good. Um, so far I've been going in as a talent for my talent. Okay. I've been going in, Lola. We like what you do. Can you come and do this, or what do you think? And what's nice is I work with producers who say, you know your character's voices. Mm. We're not here to come and change it or whatever. We just want you to do what you do best. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that is God willingly, or oh, thankfully, That's amazing. has been my journey so far. Yeah. So um, up until recently, because yeah. I've been independent. Right. I only recently just got signed. Yeah, to um, the new management. Yeah. I think it's UTC. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, so now that's even extra great because I don't have to do too much talking. Right. So they kind of scout and get the work for you. That is amazing. How did that come about? Was it again through like production and? Um, not really. You okay. know, like this particular management company, I've been following them for a while. Okay. Um, and I had a few massive change of circumstances happen due to COVID. Right. I was this year actually because things kind of slowed down i decided to kind of work part-time which is okay. fine i was doing social media for a company nice um it was great a couple of days a week a couple of hours a week it wasn't getting in the way of anything mm -hmm. um covid hit then i got made redundant so i was like all right cool it is just what it is back to freelancing yeah but then i thought you know what i want something i need help mm. so i dropped them an email and I just said, look, I'm looking for representation. This is what I do. And we had a meeting. And then, yeah, here we are. And then you just hit it off. And yeah. yeah. And do you feel like that's put you in a much better like position financially with more opportunities? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, there is only so much. Yes, I was doing really well in the, as in being independent by being able to get gigs here and there. But now I've got access. It comes with a massive advantage. Things 
and spaces that I didn't have access to wow, before. Yeah. I've got access to now conversations that I didn't have before. I'm having conversations now. Yeah. So it's definitely been the right mood for this season. For yeah, me. yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. And what, what would you say, like, because obviously the, the journey as a creative deciding, okay, I'm, I'm doing this freelance thing. Now I'm going to work. Like what's, what's that kind of like that in and out been like, has it always been like that? Or was it just this year because of COVID? So the first time I've ever gone fully freelance was 20, tw- 2019. Okay. I was freelance for one year. Okay. I've always worked. My background is actually fintech, so financial technology. Um, so I've worked in um, like banking or financial technology for t- nearly eight years. Nice. That's actually been what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's always, always been part time. Okay. Um, I've always had grace. Like, look, I am a creative. This is what I do. But I want something to support me alongside mm-hmm. what I'm kind of doing. Um, last year had a really good year so I was like okay let's see this whole full time thing but then for something in me was like alright 2020 <laughs> if you can find something that's a couple of hours a week in the social media yeah. region that is so weird I, I feel like I had the same feeling yeah. at the start of the year yeah, yeah. and I was I was fighting it right I, I was speaking to um, Bello and Chris who were on the yeah. show with me yeah. and I was like I just feel like I should get a job yeah. this was like towards the end of the year but right. I was like but I'm a creative and doesn't that mean that I'm losing the faith and then of course COVID, COVID happened. happened. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. I started that position in January 2020. Right. Then got made redundant September. So I at least had that block right. to obviously have an extra income coming mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. and still gig and all that other stuff. But it helped. It, do- it did yeah. help because I obviously no one could have been prepared for what's happened, but yeah. at least for from March up until September, yeah. I still had some stuff coming in where production went zero. And I do feel like there was, um, or there has been more like support for um, corporate workers. Mm-hmm. Is that mm-hmm. what you put like corporate mm-hmm. workers mm-hmm. as opposed to creatives yeah. in a sense of it's like, I remember talking to my accountant and I just wanted to bang the phone because <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what's this because you know if you haven't been trading for a long time as well because i was only f- fresh and freelancing for about a year okay, so you two years more yeah, time, yeah so like i didn't actually um what's the word i didn't qualify for well, the scheme yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they've done yeah. it in a really weird because yeah, everyone just yeah. thinks there's money but, and like everyone's just receiving it but it's like no like listen i got off the phone and i like, spoke to a couple of my friends like come on you just have to get a job babe. like it yeah. like and it's just been yeah I would <sighs> even that whole like freelancers being able to kind of get loans. Even if I was in that position, I'd really, really double think it because owing the m- government money, money and stuff like that isn't really so, that. Yeah. This is another one. Yeah. I, like. I mean, there was a grant, but you right, like, right. And a lot of people didn't qualify for the grant. Right, right. It's a it's a pro- it's a process, okay. especially if you haven't been trading for that long. Yeah. Um, but I kind of want to talk a bit, get a bit more personal with you. Uh, who was that? <laughs> Personally. <laughs> we've got another singer guys Uh, if you know you know um so i kind of want to get a bit more personal with you and i know you kind of shared some like stories um Mm. we talked about you kind of going away and you know there was a time where you were not on social media Mm. that was just a time where you were thinking Mm -hmm. about the next plan right Mm. so what about your upbringing Mm. and like what were the issues you've kind of faced with like body image Mm. beauty um I know you've even told an interesting story about, I would like to call it a beauty mark. Oh, girl, it's beautiful. Um, like, <laughs> what's the kind of, yeah, what's been the journey with that? Yeah, um, do you know what? Like, I didn't, so for those who don't know, you might not be able to see, but I have a scar on my cheek. Um, I fell on a heater. I don't know if you mm. maybe can insert the clip, maybe. What is that? Was a clip? Old school. Wow. No, no, it's a picture of oh, it. Yeah, okay. but basically, back in the day before central heating, we had gas heating, right. and it's like it looks like a fireplace, and then it's got like these grills across it to protect the flames. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I don't oh, yeah. remember, like yeah, really yeah. old school. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, I was in my baby walker, and I had an accident. I kind of tripped mm. and fell on the bait. Fell on the metal obviously it was very hot and because I was kind of trapped in my baby walker it left the lines on my cheek and my hands because I tried to break my fall um, but as I've grown up, my hand scars have Wow, like, just regenerated. Yeah. yeah, just regenerated. But my face, my, my cheek, the lines of the heat are still there anyway. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't know I had a scar okay. until I got to school. <laughs> the kids will tell you, won't they? The kids they? will tell me, Lola, yeah. you look like a tiger scratch your thighs. Lola, yeah. you look like a zebra. So I'll go home. 
as a mom, the kids said that the kids, wow, yeah, they something said that. you didn't know about yourself. No, they said that. Um, I've got lines on my face. My mom said, It is their dad's lines on their face. So then I went back <laughs> to school. Nigerian parents can deny things. <laughs> I went back to school. I said, My mom said, There's nothing wrong with me. It's you that has lines on your face. And we went back and forth. I think until maybe like year, f- that was a reception. Right. Maybe like year one, year two. Yeah. I then started like l- l- seeing myself in the mirror, mm. and then my mom's like, "No, you're beautiful. You're nice. Ah, oh, look at your face. Oh, you look like yeah, yeah, I did it." So I was like, "Yeah, but yeah, yeah." yeah. <laughs> and so my parents have that's me from day. Oh like, my goodness. My parents have been like the ones who've instilled confidence in that's me. That's beautiful. Yeah. So then again, getting to school, then they told me what happened. I went for a period of time in my early teens, actually, where now I'm older, I processed the accident. And I was thinking, wait, so I actually was on... How long did I have to be on there for the metal to burn my cheek and leave a scar? Wow. Yeah. And in that teenage years, I was a bit confused. So I used to... I'm not ashamed to say, because it's, it's true. Like I used to like run little experiments... Wow. Like, I used to, like, hold my hand over the stove. Wow, yeah. And count how long it took me to go like that. And I'll look at my hand, and I'll be like, okay, my hand's not scarred. So that means I must have been on there longer yeah. for it to leave an imprint. Yeah. And that kind of, like, I went through, like, this identity kind of, um, I wouldn't say identity crisis. But I went through a period of time where I was, that's when I started to feel very insecure. And it's the I didn't know what it was. I'd never felt insecure before. I was very good in school. I was a good um, student. I've always got good grades. I was an entertainer. They love me in school. I always, my reports are always like, oh, she's such a joy, da, da, da. And then later on in secondary school, that's when I started feeling different. Like, okay, um, you know, people, the boys don't fancy me. Nobody's fancy oh, me. The- I'm saying, wait, but no, baby. No, no, please. <laughs> Me now, nobody. Ah, uh, what I know, why are you fancy me? Nobody, there is true. Nobody's fancy me. Oh, yeah. But, but, but you go through adolescence, basically. Basically, what I was going through is adolescence, teenage. My hormones are changing. Identity is changing. You're, you're seeing what people. everyone else is experiencing. Yeah, you're seeing, and I'm like, okay. Oh, I'm no spice. Okay, it's okay. At the time, I was a bit round out. You know, I was doing Magrona and chicken and chips. You know, the rubber keeper. Yeah. <laughs> I was a bit tink. Yeah, right, bit. yeah. And then um, after that... It's good that we can laugh about it yeah, now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... So then after that, kind of like you grow out of that phase and then that confidence came back again. Um, then I, um, in my early 20s, just went on a new journey. You know, I educated myself about health and fitness. Yeah. L- lost a lot of weight, started feeling confident again and stuff like that. Very similar to, to, yeah. to you. Yeah. And then um, kind of realised that, you know what, I've always loved acting, you know. Yeah. But I don't have money so for somebody to come and film me. So right. I have to learn how to do Listen, it. as a creative, <laughs> you become videographer, editor, <laughs> light <laughs> man, Everything. sound guy. Everything. So it was the curiosity of how to make videos that birthed my skits, to be honest with you. Wow. I wanted to learn that. Like, how do they make a video? Like, what And you've that? done them so brilliantly. Thank you. I think it's the quality Thank as well. Because there there's been so many comedians up and down. Yeah. But I've always noticed that quality in yeah. yours and like the attention to detail. Yeah. Is it the picture quality? Is it the sound? Yeah. And then the story itself will now be, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, that's, and I, think, I think with that, though, it does... T- 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 um, come with time and passion um for me it was more than just i didn't want it just to be like a 30 second one minute ha 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 video i wanted that experience so everything that you said is the experience i wanted my viewer to have yeah so with that takes time with that that means i might not be able to bang videos every day because i'm not shooting on my iphone Mm. but when i am going to give you something i put my blood sweat and tears in it right right so far so good like yeah. people have appreciated yeah the, the quality, content, the, quality the, the excellence the of it yeah yeah, yeah 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 so you know um that's kind of been in a nutshell very condensed version of like my journey and where i've come from yeah yeah mm. and what would you say has been your biggest like challenge i know that you know covid has been a big one for everybody as a creative just generally yeah um you know what i think the biggest challenge i've had is Almost just having to, realising that, Lola, you know that as a creative, you go through seasons. 
Low light 21 and low light 28 is different. Right. The dream is still there, but my, that dream might look different. Now, Ed, I'm edging more to 30, so things are, I'm looking at things to make more business sense for me as well now. Whereas when I was younger creating content, I was, you know, free. Just and, fun, and, yeah, fun let it flow. Yeah. But now I'm thinking more of my career, my future, and like, okay, something that I could say maybe yes to a couple of years back is gonna we have a detrimental impact if I say yes now yeah and just learning how to manage myself and not I don't have to say yes not every other thing I can say yes, yes to, to no, no. you know so I think that has that was a bit challenging because mm. I didn't want to like you know when you start away you start a certain way and you're like oh am I changing you know you have and you get a bit of imposter syndrome as well yeah absolutely know? um you don't really sometimes you don't really know that you got sales so yeah I don't always and I think it's that authentic sales. thing that you start with that that people want to see even yeah. as you grow yeah. but it's like you as you grow you evolve exactly so it's it's yeah it's yeah. like maybe finding the yeah. balance but yeah. speaking about evolving like what would you say the future kind of holds i know you kind of spoke about more business um yeah. things decisions that make sense business wise yeah. but like what would you say the future looks like do you feel like it's always going to be like sketches filmmaking do you feel like you know what else is yeah. there i mean do you know what i'm happy i'm happy you asked that because I think a lot of the time people just either see or expect me just to be a sketch maker, mm -hmm. writer, comedian, actress. Yeah. But there's so I've got I'm such a multifaceted person. Amen. I have so many um angles to me. I've got I'm very I've got opinions. I can talk. How am I am I doing guys? Thumbs up if you like my talking. I know how to talk. You know, I know how to <laughs> You'd actually make a good host yeah. for you. Yeah, okay. We need us. I can you know I can't I can't sing but it's okay. I know my talent. You know, but there's so many things that I want to explore that right. my management also know about nice. as well. So Apart from putting me in like sketch comedy gigs, there's also things like documentaries, things that I enjoy watching. I love factual inter entertainment and factual information. Mm. I love your show. Yeah, thank you. You know, um, so I'm ready for to the world to see more of Lola. Right. Without the frills, without the costume, without mm. the. Does it ever like scare you if they will? accept that because i think sometimes your your audience or like from my experiences they don't like change yeah. they like what, what we saw want? from the beginning do you understand <laughs> absolutely i it bloody terrifies me but yeah. you know what I, that's why i watch people like you mm. to motivate me and to inspire me that I, well she be she should she talk i'm not, i'm still here watching even if you complain they will take it like that. Yeah. And if you don't like it, it's okay. You can yeah, it's actually okay. And, it's okay. and 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 one 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 thing that I always used to comfort myself as well is that, you know, you've built a fan base around a certain thing and they like that thing. There's other people that will like this new so it's just a matter of you, I guess sometimes you feel like you're going back to square one, yeah. but it's like you've been through this. You know that eventually it comes. Yeah. So like stick with it, be consistent, yeah. and eventually you'll build that same, exactly. you know, that love, that new and evolved. You, I feel like as a creative, our fans change over the years. Yeah. Some stay from right from the beginning. Some join on the train, like when you get to Plasto. I don't yeah. know why <laughs> I chose Plasto. <laughs> no, no, Do you understand? Like yeah. some join at London Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Some hop off at Blackfriars. Ah, oh, so where are we going? <laughs> uh, where are we going? Thames where Link. <laughs> I went from District Line to Thames Link, but yeah, like you just have to keep um rolling with it. What would you say your biggest advice, just to kind of round off, um, would be your biggest advice to creatives that you know are on the come up? They've got this amazing idea, or they want to change, or you know, just anything that you would say has like helped to ground you and has kept you like showing up that's a huge theme on this channel this season there's a saying that says feel the fear and do it anyway yeah just do it mm. you know what i'll let you into a little secret <laughs> tell us little secrets yeah there's a thing called post anxiety mm -hmm. where you can post but before you're posting, you're vibrating. Yeah. Bam. Shaking a like My goodness. a shaker. You know these muraka that they do and say, bang, 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 shots. Yeah. That's shaker. Yeah. Sh tambourine. You're shaking. Mm. Yeah. There's times where I post. I have this thing called post and go. Yeah, I listen. And you leave it. And I leave it. So yeah. I'll go ahead and go about my business in the house. I don't touch that thing. Yeah. And I'm still on that journey of, I don't know if I'm ever going to get over it. I don't know. 
And so I understand that. I can imagine even like Beyonce even feels that probably. Yeah. 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 Like everyone As amazing as she is. Yeah. Yeah. So feel the fear and do it anyway. But if you have to post and run away and scream, do it. As long as you know it's posted. Ah, I've posted and I've screamed. That looks so childish in my head. Listen, I've posted and I've screamed, legit. Right, yeah. Like, ah, no, like, you know, yeah. I said, I'm scared. Yeah. Have you posted? Yeah, it's like, okay, let me go and check them. My mum yeah. will now come and say, I'm like, mum, that's the wrong thing to say. I don't need feedback right now. But Just yeah, chill. Yeah. But I get it. And it's scary. It yeah. is. Really so that's good. the real mama Lola. That's we didn't even touch on the room. Is it? Is it a similar personality? Um. Yes and no. Okay. Yes and no. My mm-hmm. my mom is like my bestie. She's like that's my nice. biggest fan. Like my yeah. parents, like literally all three, of, like with that, the Makodis. Yeah. Um, my parents are like my biggest fans. Um, I do everything in the forefront. Like they're in my forefront. Like. Keep going because I want to really. Ah, you that's want amazing. Me now. I want the ah, life I want to give them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really listen, the, ah. honestly. Yeah. And would you say, are, are you independent from them right now? Or yeah, do you, yeah, yeah, do you yeah, like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, going back home, FaceTime, my mom, my mom got iPhone, ah, she upgraded. My mom can FaceTime me. I told her how to send um, emoji. She's really, uh, my mom's doing iPhone Plus now. Even better phone than me. Wow. Yeah. They really like the best, don't they, to be honest? She is ready. But, you know, like, I love my parents so much. And, you know, I'm just so grateful that when I was at home, they allowed me to turn the house to a studio. Yeah. But basically, mm. they knew, ah, Lola is filming. <laughs> Even when the when the postman is coming from the window, my mom will go outside, my daughter is filming. <laughs> filming. <laughs> my daughter is filming. So don't knock this door. <laughs> you know, and it's, just, it's nice. I'm about to literally. Like, oh. Oh my goodness, I love Nigerians. Oh. We are, I love and hate Nigerians. <laughs> we, are, we are characters. There was a time when something happened on your YouTube channel. Did you lose some content? I did. What happened? Um, all my videos got lost. All my videos just deleted. Yeah. Weird. Um, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Everything just went and... Um, um, I tried to speak to you. It's very hard to contact YouTube, you know. Wow. Very difficult to contact YouTube. Um, but I managed to talk to somebody, to talk to somebody, to talk to somebody back end. Right. And um, luckily recovered my YouTube page. Wow. Um, it took what about happened? 48, I don't know. Literally, till today, till today, I do not know. Literally, on my page, everything was zero. Mm. Subscribers gone, videos gone, it was blank. Right, that's right. why I posted. I was like, Yeah, like, I remember responding like, to that. Yeah, guys, like, my, my, everything's gone. Yeah, you know, um, I was, I was, I was very panicked. And when it came back, was it the same view? Everything, I, I don't know about the view, I'm not gonna lie, but oh. all my content is there. I, I think roughly about the same, but. I, I can't say verbatim. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I know that Mr. Easy went through something similar, but mm. apparently that was a friend had accessed his YouTube and deleted oh. his videos. I mean, after that, I did make sure I changed all my passwords just in case. That's another was. thing, creatives, guys. You never know, like, just protect. The same password, banana four, on everything. Because everything we have to. That's that reminds me of Dr. Belly. But no, thank you so much yeah. for joining us on today's show. Do make sure you like this if you liked it. Um, do follow Lola Jagan on Instagram, Twitter. You're on Twitter now as well, I aren't am you? On Twitter. On YouTube and everything. I'll link everything down below. Do share this video if you, um, with your friends if you, you'd like them to see it, of course. And subscribe to this channel for more. Until next time, guys, peace and love. Peace, peace and, and chugs. <laughs> I knew you were ready for that. <laughs>